Hey there. So I saw a post in a Facebook group recently as from someone asking how they can create a simple private page for multiple users to be able to access content on without using a full-blown membership plugin and without it being like one password protected page that everybody shares a password to. So you can control the access about who gets it without changing the password for everybody. And I'm going to show you a simple way to do that with just two plugins that are freely available in the WordPress repository. So first of all, what the page is going to look like, it would be something like this. Now, this is just my sandbox site. It'll look like whatever it's going to look like on your theme. But basically, um, there's the title of the page, and then I've created this that says you must be logged in to read this content and a link to the login page. I did this, like I said, with two simple free plugins. There's Members by Justin Tadlock, and that is freely available in the repository. It's going to have this little icon next to it when you search for it. And then there's this one that's Peter's Login Redirect, also freely available in the repository. Um, super easy to find. So both of them you can just get to by going to Plugins and Add New. And you would go to Members. We're going to search for members over here. And you have to scroll down a little bit, but members is right there. And then we have Peter's login redirect. And it's this one right here. Okay, so I have installed both of them and they're both active on my site. The first thing we're going to do is go to users and we're going to create a new user role for to be able to access this private page. So we're going to go to add new role and you're going to put in a role name and you're going to make sure you give it, you're going to go to the pages section over here, go to pages and you're going to say read private pages. And then if you think you might have private blog posts as well, you can also go to posts and do read private posts and then add the role. So now we're going to go to pages and you need to create a page for the private content. So this could be for board meeting minutes or anything like that. But I have my page here. We're going to take a look at the settings for it. Um, in the content box up here is where you're going to put whatever content it would be. So PDF links, uh, webinar information, you know, whatever that's going to be. And then you scroll down and the content permissions meta box is what we need. So you want to select which roles have access to this information. I've selected administrator and then the private users role that we just created. Under error message, this is what they're going to see when they're not logged in. So this page here, this content is what I set as the error message here. Sorry, you must be logged in to read this content. And I just made a quick link to the login page, which I did by um, making a link to wp-login.php. This is the same page you log into as well. So, uh, and then we are going to save that page. Now, I've already done all of that. I'm not going to save the changes here. Um, and then the last thing we want to do is set up the redirect so that when somebody from that private user's role logs in, it automatically sends them back to this page instead of logging them into the back end of WordPress where they can't really do anything except change their password. So I'm going to copy the URL for that page. I'm going to go down here to settings and go to login, log out redirects. Again, I've already saved that page, so I'm leaving. I don't need to save the content. On this page for the manage redirect roles, you want to go down to where it says specific roles. So you can make it for specific users, but since we're using multiple users, I don't want to do that. So we're just going to do a specific role. I'm going to select that role that I had, my private users role, which I've already selected here, so it won't let me do it again. Um, and then put in that page that I want them to redirect to, right? And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to hit update. So this is what I've done. This is the demo that I've done that I'm showing you in an incognito window. But basically, um, this is the page, the private content page. It says I have to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and I've made my user with that role 
and there's its temporary password. I'm going to go ahead and log in and it's going to redirect me to this private content page. So now that person, that user would be able to see whatever is on that page. So I hope that answers your question and helps you out. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. Oh, one thing that I didn't show you is um, when you're making a user role, you're just going to make um, your user role for whoever needs it, your new user account for whoever needs it. And of course, you have to put in a username and an email address, and then you can add the automatically generated password or set your own. But down here in user roles is where you want to select what user role they have. So this person then would be in the private user roles that we just created using the members plugin. So that should be all the steps. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will try to help you. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.